Hi, this is a video introduction for the funding of a documentary. The funds will be used toward the production of a docu-series of six episodes showing the life in micro-societies crammed in isolated, minuscule Philippines islands. These tiny islands are home to many of the poorest and most vulnerable households, with close to half of its population living below poverty line. We get a closer look at the inhabitants who live on an island the size of two football fields and how they accommodate the lack of space and other essentials. There are over 7,000 islands in the Philippines. Here, I am in a tiny and uninhabited island in the middle of the sea. It shows the contrast with other islands the same size, but overcrowded, where houses are built with light materials and not arranged in an orderly manner. These islanders are particularly vulnerable to bad weather, rough seas, and typhoons. There are no roads, only passageways for people to go around. But despite living at minimal subsistence level, they prefer in situ adaptation rather than be relocated to the mainland. For them, migration is not an option. They created communities based on social creative achievement to favor a supportive environment instead of a competitive one. They support each other and live happy together. The documentary portrays their lifestyle in a positive light despite their difficult livelihood. It highlights the human stories behind the people who strive day to day to provide for their families. Nevertheless, they enjoy life and their families and manage to have entertainment and leisure time of their own. Even though they have visitors, the inhabitants of these densely populated tiny islands live detached from the civilization. We see how uncertain food supply, rationed power, and water affect their lives. Please click on the link in the description to contribute to the production of the documentary. are marginalized, they inhabit physically and socio-economically hard-to-reach islets, separated from the mainstream society, and characterized by the absence of opportunities for development, social services, and food supply.